guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chloe, I'm a model, personal trainer and nutrition coach. And today's video is gonna be eight reasons why your glutes are not growing. So I've got two really big glutes videos on my channel, as in they've got a lot of views. And I get lots of comments, lots of emails, lots of Instagram DMs about why people's glutes are not growing. So they say that they're doing the things in the video, they're doing the exercises, but they haven't seen any progression. Or they're working out at home and they're finding it really hard, they don't know what they're doing wrong, but they're just not seeing progress. So I thought, why not make a video to help you guys. Maybe it's just one of these things, maybe it's a few or all of these things that you're not doing. But even just not doing a couple of these things in the video will actually make quite a big difference to your results. So just make sure that you are doing all of these eight things when wanting to grow your glutes. So if you haven't seen already, I've got two videos. One is all the exercises you need to know to grow your glutes and how to grow your glutes faster and that's to do with glute activation. So I definitely recommend after you've watched these two videos to go and watch them. I will put them in the description box below so just open up the description box and the two links will be down there. But definitely go and recommend watching those. And just something to point out is that we are all different, we have different genetics. So you comparing yourself to Tammy Hembrow or Grace Fit UK or someone like that, you've got to remember that everyone is different age, different metabolic rate, completely different genetics. So try not to base your results alongside someone else's. Just to show you my transformation, I'll put some pictures on the screen to give you an idea of the transition that I've made over the last 18 months. I am also on Instagram at underscore Chloe Inspires underscore, so please make sure you go and follow me over there. And if you're not subscribed already, please make sure you subscribe. If you are subscribed, then welcome back to my channel and thank you. If you have any questions through the video, just comment them below or email me chloeinspires.coaching at gmail.com. I love hearing from you guys. It makes me really happy to know that you're watching my videos and following me. Or you can always DM me on Instagram. And don't forget to give the video a like if you do enjoy it. If you've got any other reasons that your glutes might not be growing that I don't mention in this video, then comment them below because people do read the comments and it might help someone else. So let's get started and I'm gonna run through the eight reasons why your glutes are not growing. The number one reason is diet. If your glutes are not growing, it could be combined with all the other things in this video that you're not eating enough. For a muscle to grow, you need to have food. It needs calories to grow. In a deficit, it's very difficult to grow muscles. You've gotta remember that your glutes are a muscle, therefore they need all the things mentioned in this video and food is gonna be one of them. You need calories to grow muscle. So I know that can be quite scary for some of you but what you can do is just make sure that that food is from nutritious food so that doesn't mean going eating biscuits or going eating rubbish like unnutritious food just to get your calories up I'm talking about good sources of protein protein you need to grow muscle and also carbohydrates so making sure you're having enough carbohydrates and protein every day for your body weight you don't want to be going in a massive surplus but it is important that if you're doing everything else mentioned in this video and your diet is not right it'd be very difficult to grow your glutes so just some ideas of some complete proteins are chicken, egg, fish, cottage cheese and also whey protein. They are all complete proteins. Whey protein is the most biological available protein so it's one of the best that you can have in your diet and it's a supplement so you can just supplement to your diet. Having just a shake a day, two shakes a day, it helps get an extra 100 calories in and it's just pure protein. If you want to get yourself some protein powder I recommend the Protein Works and I've got a link and a code in the description box which will get you a free bag of protein. So when you create your account, put my code in once you've created the account and that just saves for when you fill up your basket and you get a free bag of protein. I'm not sponsored by the Protein Works, but they are one of my favourite and that code will get you a discount. So definitely recommend getting more protein in your diet and making sure that it's complete sources of protein. The number two reason is sleep. So maybe you're not having enough sleep. Sleep is really important for recovery and your muscles don't grow in the gym, they grow when you're resting. So rest and sleep is really, really important. So I recommend anything between six and a half to eight hours sleep a night, more on the eight hour side, and making sure that is deep sleep. So if you are having quite light sleep or you keep waking up, you might want to sleep longer to so go to bed earlier if you can. Also making sure that you take recovery days and rest days, because like I said, your muscles don't grow in the gym, they grow when you're resting. So your glutes do need to rest, they do need to recover to grow. Also, your glutes are a big muscle, and when you work them out, it can be very taxing on the body, whereas if you're working out your biceps, you don't get that exhausted. But after a glute, a heavy glute session, you can be very tired um, and your body can be physically tired and therefore the rest and recovery is even more so important. So the number three reason that your glutes are not growing is that they are not activated when you work out. So some people do glute workouts, they follow everything religiously, but actually their hamstrings are working, their back is working and their legs are working, but not their glutes. And this is quite normal and it's very common. And some people are quad dominant, for example, 
example, when they squat. And this is because in a lot of our day-to-day -day lives, our glutes are actually very dormant and we don't use them a lot. And some people just find it very difficult to activate them. So what I'd recommend is watching my video on how to grow your glutes faster. It runs through all the glute activation exercises that you need. Just to give you an idea, these are things like glute bridges and crab walks with a band. And when you do these exercises, make sure you really squeeze your glutes and you use the mind to muscle connection and pause. So if you're doing like a squat, squat, pause, or glute bridge up, pause, and really squeeze the muscle. Just make sure that you're really activating them, getting the blood pumping to the glutes before you start your workout. So the glute activation is always done at the beginning of the workout. So the next reason that your glutes are not growing is because you're not increasing your volume over your training periods, so over your training time. Now volume is reps, sets or weight. This is all of those multiplied together basically. So if your reps are not going up, if your sets are not going up, or if your weight is not going up, so one of those needs to be going up every sort of two weeks, even if it can be possible every week. So if that is not going up, you're gonna find it very difficult to see results because basically you're just staying your training program is just staying the same so if you look at your if you had it like in a graph over two months for example your hip thrust could have gone up five kilos that's great or maybe you've added another set or you've added more reps so you've always needs to be looking at that volume on your glutes as they get stronger the volume needs to be going up so make sure that you're increasing one of those factors to make sure that your muscles can grow your muscles will not grow if you just keep doing the same thing they adapt they get used to the weight they need to be having more reps more sets or more weight over time and just remember that when you're training your glutes it's nothing about PBs you don't need to be smashing it every week and thinking oh, I need to get 100k this or I need to get 80k this just really concentrating on that glute connection mind muscle connection and really using your glutes when you're working out is far more important than trying to smash out PBs if it is just increasing reps and not the weight that's totally fine the next reason is that you're not training with heavy enough weight so as I said at the beginning your glutes are a big muscle and they need you need to be having heavy lifts, heavy compound lifts at the beginning of your workout. So I'm th talking things like hip thrusts, squats and deadlifts. Things like that, compound lifts, big movements, they need to be heavy. Just doing body weight, I'm afraid, won't build your glutes over time. It will initially grow them if you're new to exercise. So you can always start off that way, but just using a band over time is really not gonna grow your glutes. So you need to be lifting heavy and girls, don't be scared. It's taking me a long time to get where I am and trust me, it's really difficult to build muscle. Make sure that you are lifting heavy and doing compound movements within your program. So my next reason that your glutes are not growing is you're not doing the right exercises. So if you want to know the exercises to grow your glutes, go and watch this video and it's linked below so I'm not going to run through it all today because it's a lengthy video and it shows you exactly what exercises to do. But it could be that you're just not doing the right exercises. So just make sure that you are. The main ones I just want to point out are glute bridges, hip thrusts, cable pull throughs and sumo deadlifts. They're really really good for growing your glutes. But there's many more so just make sure that you're doing the right exercises. So the next reason that your glutes are not growing is you're weighing yourself too often. You need to ditch the scales and not go get so hung up on the number on the scale because if you want to grow your glutes, they're going to get bigger. That means the scale is going to go up and if you're focusing on the scale going down, getting annoyed when it's going up, basically you won't want to grow your glutes because if you're worried about the scale going up, it is going to go up when your glutes grow. So you've just got to face that. So I'd go ditch the scale, stick with body measurements, so measuring your waist and your hips, i.e. your glutes, and pictures. Progress pictures are amazing. Make sure you're doing pictures every three to four weeks and you'll be surprised at the difference that you see. Scale weight is nothing. You've got to remember that two people can weigh exactly the same and be three dress sizes difference. So you could have a really fat big person who's 60 kilos and a really slim 60 kilo person and the slim one is because they've got more muscle and hardly any fat and the 60 kilo who's a bigger person has got more fat. So muscle takes up less space in the body but it does weigh more. Ditch the scales and get focusing on what you look like and what you're doing in the gym and the other things I mentioned outside of the gym like your diet and your sleep. The next reason that your glutes are not growing is because you're not organizing yourself and you're not organizing your time efficiently. So make sure you've got a kind of plan for the week ahead, what days you're going to do what, what days you're going to recover, what days you're going to train glutes and all your other things going on, the parts of the body that you want to train. So to give you an example, Monday you could do hit, on Tuesday you could do glutes, so your bum, Wednesday it could be rest, on Thursday it could be upper body, Friday could be glutes again, Saturday could be hit and Sunday could be rest. So there you go, there's a nice plan for the week. You've hit every body part. You might do want to do one single glute session and the next session might be more glutes and legs. Maybe you want to do together in that session. Just start with the glutes and then finish more leg stuff. And then the other day could be focused purely on glutes. And then you could have, like I said, an upper body session. Then you could have 
two HIIT workouts, then make sure you're having a couple of rest days or one rest day at least a week. So that's it for my reasons why your glutes are not growing. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. My channel is growing at the moment and I just want to say thank you to all of you who are subscribed and if you're not, please support my channel and click the subscribe button. If you want to share this video with a friend, maybe you know someone who it might help out, then obviously feel free to send it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, it's at underscore Chloe Inspires underscore. I am personal training and nutrition coaching, so if any of you want online coaching, just drop me an email, chloeinspires.coaching at gmail.com. Obviously if you want more of a tailored program, then getting a personal trainer is a really good idea, even if it's just online, and someone to help you with your nutrition, because we all are different, and we all have different genetics and different abilities, we're all starting at different points, different ages, all these things will come into account in wanting to grow your glutes. It can be a good idea to get a personal trainer for a bit, if you want any, if you've got any questions about that, just drop me an email. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys found it helpful and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!